Hey everyone, thanks for the amazing comments on what I should review next. I've read all your requests, and man, have they been good. The Vector, ARP9, SSG24... Unfortunately, for budget constraints on this channel, I can only afford this. Yep, only this. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. <laughs> Hey what's up guys, Rev here and today I got another unboxing review of the UK Arms P2626. The gun that came requested by a few of you guys that wanted to see an SMG review. If you have another gun you want me to review or check out, let me know in the comments section below. I have a few UK Arms airsoft guns lying around the house, so I wouldn't mind giving them away to any lucky subscriber who comments on this video. The box is your typical UK Arms. Has some instructions on the side on how to load the magazine, change the light, Pull the sliding block and the infrared. Hey, wait a second. A light and laser combo? Does this mean that you can run these with your nods? Oh, yeah. Man, I really want to see this infrared laser. Okay, you got your product advisory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get you don't shoot at human or animal, which is exactly what Airsoft was intended for. Yes, yes, yes. Typical UK arms. Opening this box and the first thing that hits me in the face is the smell of garbage. I'm talking literally garbage. It smelled like someone left trash inside this box for the person to open it up. Inside the box, you get your P2626, a single stack magazine with an extremely flimsy spring and some colorful BBs. When you take it out of the box in closer inspection, there were some baffling oversights from the manufacturer. First, they didn't name their airsoft gun right. On the gun, it's P626, while on the box, it's P2626. But the one that I'm most disappointed in is the lack of that infrared light, which I know everyone here wanted me to demo out with the nods. But I guess I have to get the UK Arms Night Vision combo. All it comes with is some crappy laser that gets about 8 feet before you can't see it anymore. To use a gun, simply put the magazine in, pull the charging handle, point, and shoot. And it makes a really loud twang, which doesn't sound good at all. I took it outside for a shooting test, and no surprise here, the BBs go about 30 feet to the ground. You pretty much have to lob these for them to hit anything. It wasn't until when I got back from firing this crap gun that I realized that the BBs in the magazine refused to feed anymore. Remember that flimsy spring? Well, after a few uses, it gave out and refused to feed anything. So as an airsoft gun, I do not recommend this at all. As a prop, not really. This is a really ugly gun and I paid 20 bucks for it. I found some other guns that cost way less and look a lot cooler. In conclusion, just like the smell that came out of the box when I opened it, this gun is hot garbage. That's it for this week guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more gameplay and reviews, and I'll see you guys next time.